So welcome to day 17 of the 30 day challenge. And the key topic we're gonna be covering today is this whole subject about how do you take care of your own mental well-being and perhaps even the mental well-being of your team and those around you. And this builds on challenge 16 where we talked about the subject of happiness at work. So let's get into the subject. And, and the first thing to acknowledge is to say that our fears and anxieties are often based on irrational thinking. And the most effective way of dismantling our irrational thoughts is we verbalize them, we talk it through, we share them with a trusted colleague or a family member or a friend. And in talking it through, like Swiss cheese, we find the holes in our own arguments. We find that our fears and our anxieties are founded on sand rather than solid ground. But if you keep your thoughts in your head, the danger is they start becoming your reality. And one of my participants on a workshop put it beautifully where he said that the acronym that he uses for fears are false emotions appearing real. And maybe that's the way we ought to start thinking about our anxieties and our worries, that perhaps they are false emotions appearing real, that they are founded on thin ice, that they're founded on sand, that like a pack of cards, the minute you actually bring light to them, that they, uh, they melt and they fade away quite quickly. And so this brings me on to the second point. So if you're not in a position to talk it through with somebody, then at the very least, get your thoughts, your worries, your anxieties out of your head and put them down on a sheet of paper. At least it stops them swimming around. At least you're able to assemble your thoughts. You're able to put some order to your thoughts. And the key when you are putting your thoughts down on paper is to ask yourself healthy questions rather than unhealthy questions. So healthy questions would be, so how can I bounce back from this stronger and wiser? What small thing actions can I take today to improve this situation? In six months time, how will I look back on this situation with a different perspective? Those are healthy questions. Unhealthy questions are, why does this always happen to me? Because the only answer that you can get from that unhealthy question is because I'm not smart enough, I'm not clever enough, I'm not born to be lucky, I don't deserve happiness. Those are some of the likely outcomes by asking yourself unhealthy questions. And then finally, I love this Buddhist mantra that whenever you are facing difficulty, repeat to yourself that this too shall pass, that it's not permanent, it's temporary, it's a passing fade, and that your challenge is to really start putting this into perspective. And one of the most powerful ways I think you can put any challenge or adversity or any blip into perspective is to put it on some sort of 10 point scale, where 10 is the worst thing imaginable, a bereavement, a death, a illness, that's 10, and one is a paper cut. And you ask yourself, the situation that you're facing at the moment, where would you place it on this 10 point scale? And you owe it to yourself that if it's anything that's five and below, you will wallow and feel sorry for yourself for 15 minutes, but then you will get over it. You see it as something that you have now given enough time to, but in the scheme of things, it doesn't warrant your energy. It doesn't war warrant you wasting any more worry, anxiety or time on this particular situation because in the scheme of things it's not that big. And the other thing I'm just getting it, get you to think about is perhaps have a conversation with your team or with your colleagues and your peers about what strategies do they adopt for looking after their mental well-being. And I'd love for you to just drop me a comment and drop me a note on the sort of things that work for you. So thank you, thanks for listening and I will see you on Challenge 18.